All right, so, well, as you can see, not much has happened here, apart from, what the hell is that? Oh, what is going off in here? Oh, that ain't pliable, is it? No. Yeah. Looks like he's uh, reusing the um, insulation from the uh, Evico down there, from the refrigeration part to it that we all ripped out. And uh, I'm reclaiming it. I'm going to uh, use it in my van, because hey, we live in a throwaway world, but I don't like that. I want to recycle things. So I'm going to recycle this insulation. XPS, it's pretty much the best insulation you can get. You can't get better than this stuff. It doesn't hold water. Uh, really good soundproofing along with, uh, well, other things really. It's just damn good insulation. Just look at the specs, it's amazing. Uh, don't look down here. We don't look at what happened here. It's a bit of a mess, but hey, it's starting to rain a uh, I've got a hole in my roof. I've took my vent out. I took my vent out because, uh, <clears throat> well, they are renowned for not... If I close my door, which I can't do, I can't get in here. All right. I took my vent out because they're renowned for not painting them. So they'll cut out the hole and what they'll do is this edge along here they will not paint the edge so it will rust. Obviously air flows through that hole and air with moisture flows through that hole. So eventually it rusts out and you know what after 15 years guess what it did? We've got a bit of rust appear on it. Sucks, but yeah, these things happen. Thankfully I was able to catch it and uh, fix it. No more rust. And the vent is going back in again. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's a different vent. Uh, of course, the original vent, the uh, the UV from the sun had damaged the plastic. The, the, the white vents, the, pl the white plastic on the vents, are well known for being uh, UV damaged. Whether the black ones just keep going and going. So what have I gone and done? I already had one from years ago, years and years ago. It's stuck in the shed down the garden. So I went and um, I went and uh, got that from out the garden, and I've uh, <coughs> spray painted it white to match the van, to match the original one. <laughs> also, at the same time. You never know, after 20 years of it being in the sun, it may, it may you know, become susceptible to UV damage. So, spray paint over the top of it, uh, you know, primer and spray paint, plastic primer and whatnot. Hopefully that will prevent it from getting any UV damage. Or help, help prevent it. It'll probably fail one day and when it does, I'll just plate over it. But that hopefully won't be for many, many years. So, what have I been doing in here? Yes, I have been insulating. So a lot of you guys are going to ask me what glue did I use for this. Now I have used a bit of glue underneath. Uh, this glue is some super high temperature glue. It's designed for um, using in like the food industry where it's going to be sticking like stainless steel sheeting to the side of walls uh, next to fryers and ovens and things. Uh, and I've used that uh, pretty much because of the um, because heat makes the glue you know become unbonded. So and it's very common that people do a van conversion, skimp out on the glue, and you'll see all the auto carpet and whatnot on the inside of the van start coming off the walls because the uh, yeah, the heat killed the glue. So hopefully that won't happen for me. Um, <clears throat> mistakes from others have helped me out myself, so that's good. Um, what, I ha what, what I did do as well is around the, the edges of it I've decided to use uh, a bit of expanding insulation foam, this stuff, which is not expanding foam as like what you'd use on a house, brick foam. It's proper insulating foam, what you would use, say, 
for this exact purpose, basically. Um, it's quite good stuff because that also is oops, stuff's falling over. That also is plus um, 60 degree temperatures, um, which okay, this in the sun will get to that, which sucks. But it can't really be helped. I mean, it is a white paint on this van, so that should hopefully reflect some heat. But uh, my saving grace on this will be the fact I've got a roof rack on it, which is going to be completely covered at all times with uh, solar cells. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, what am I doing? What's this big bag anyway? What's, what am I doing here? If you've been following the Avico Daily um, camper van conversion, which we're not doing today, my brother's not feeling too good, so we're not bothering. Otherwise, I would have been. This would have been a video for that. This is full of quite literally teddy bear stuffing. Um, what the hell is it made out of again? Ah, damn it. Polyethylene? No, wait, not polyethylene. I don't know, something or other. Um, I think it's basically, you know, sh shredded pot bottles, basically, is what this is made out of. And it's the stuff that they use to stuff uh, teddy bears and things with. If you, you've heard of that Build-A-Bear franchise that was quite the rage a couple of years back? Well, this is what they fill it with. This stuff. It's very insulation. I mean, I'm holding that in my in my fist like that, and I can feel the heat being reflected back. It's, it's lovely. Cool thing is with this stuff is it doesn't hold moisture. You can pour water into it, yes, and you can wring it out because it water will retain in there somewhat, but it doesn't soak into it like say paper would or um, uh, like the fiberglass stuff does really really cool and the other cool thing is this is fully breathable again unlike the fiberglass stuff which is only like a very little bit breathable um, and what you do with this is you literally just put it inside your cavities like that fill your cavities up with it um, which is what I'm going to start to do over there I'm going to run all run it all through my cavities at the top Oh no, it's leaking! <laughs> I've got drips coming in. I think we'll run some sealant around that before we actually have it uh, fixed to the roof again. <laughs> um, yeah, and you, but you just literally fill the cavities up with the, with, with the stuff and that adds another layer of insulation. This van's going to be more insulated than any other van I think I've ever seen when I'm done with it. Um, all right, I've been talking for a while, haven't I? I ought to get some stuff done on this. Um, I'm impressed by how much uh, the insulation, uh, the expanding foam's actually expanded out from the sides. Not that much. I thought it would. My look, it's all expanding inside it and mixing with the glue and knackering itself up, but we'll see how it goes. It's probably a bad idea to do that, but hey, what am I? Nothing but bad ideas. And should the worst happen, I'm going to be running uh, bolts inside this and the plyboard roof is going to be bolted to this. It's going to sandwich it all together basically underneath the sheet of ply. So um, yeah, it should be, it should be adequate. And if it's anything like this one, this is uh, much better. And I've got to tell you, it's amazing how quiet the roof has become just by putting this on. Uh, before it really was like, um, yeah, you're chucking a load of nails on a tin roof when it was raining, but now it's actually much better. You can actually hear the noise, probably won't pick it up on the camera, but you can hear the noise is more here than it is here. <laughs> it's actually quite nice to listen to. You could easy, very easily fall asleep to that sound. Very, very easily. Hopefully that's going to be something I'll be doing in this van. <laughs> Hopefully out somewhere, up some big mountain somewhere, you know. Open the back doors in the morning and be greeted with a supreme view with a with the lake in the distance, you know, right in the dip. Ah, we can dream. That's the dream. Alright.
let's get on with it. Otherwise this dream ain't gonna happen. Well, pretty cool, huh? I've got the roof done. It looks a mess. But you know what? Hopefully it won't look a mess when it's behind all the uh, plyboard sheeting. We can only hope. So, now that is done, I am hoping, I'm hoping that I can focus on other things. This side panel I've got to do now, now I've just literally taken this, um, what do you call it, this ply board off the side panel here, and I've been pleasantly surprised with this very nice little bit of a shelf you get, which is quite cool. I am going to lose a bit of, uh, a bit of that. Um, the insulation is this thick, so it's going to come out to about there. The insulation is. But all of that, that extra, after that, is all uh, <laughs> insulation I can play with. Oh, my, oh, my uh, torch is overheating. Poor torch. Yeah, I see. Look how much space you get. So the plyboard insulation came to uh, well, where the dirt ends, <laughs> but you get all that extra. That's rather nice. Let's have a look down there. Oh, that is quite warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll we'll do it from the end. So that's dirty in there. I've got to clean all that out. I've not even cleaned out the other side. I cleaned this part out. But not uh, not inside this cavity, which I've not yet um, not yet put the stuffing in. I will do eventually, but I haven't yet. If I'm good with the insulation, I should be able to uh, reclaim quite a bit of this and use it all as cupboard space, because this is where my kitchen's going to go. I don't think I did pretty bad here, because I have never actually. Uh... Well, that's interesting. I've never actually uh, looked behind this panel before. I've never actually seen what all these vans looks like without any of the panelling removed. Um, pleasantly surprised. Loads and loads of space. I may even be tempted to rework this plyboard panel so it only sits out as far as this on this side. So I can get some nice deep recessed cupboards. Maybe then, if I build my um, my unit, my electronics unit, small enough, I might be able to sit it in the corner here. I should be able to reduce that thing's size down quite a bit um, when I rework it. I've taken that many of those apart at work to um, reclaim and recycle all the bits out of it. But um, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, okay. Well, this doesn't half bring on a whole new level of space of places. It doesn't look like there's much here, but believe me, in a cupboard, that's a lot. You know, that's that's like two tins of beans high, you know, plenty of space. Plenty of space. Hmm. Cool. It would be nice to sort of have my worktop to about as high as this too. Now that would work really well. Worktop up to there. Um, nice edge to put it on too. That'd be quite cool. It doesn't really matter because it is going to be ply boarded, so it could go anywhere. But it would be a nice lip to sort of rest it on. Because I would like a sink in this. <laughs> I've actually got some weird plans, right? So at the back here, I'm thinking of doing quite a tall cupboard from floor to ceiling, so to speak. So it's going to come out to about here. And it's going to come up all the way up to the uh, to the roof. Right, as you can see, I've done all the uh, insulation in the cavity that I can get to anyway. There's a 
bit in that one there that could do with some more pushing through. I need to get like a plastic rod or something. Keep packing it through. Uh, for these cavities here, I don't know if that's an access point there. I might be able to push some in and down through it. I might have to go from up and then push it upwards. Right. <laughs> these cavities. These cavities are a nightmare to do because the only space for you to get anything into these cavities is through that one hole right there. <laughs> As you can see, I've got it packed in quite tight. I tell you, that took some doing. You can see I actually wore the paint off. I was pushing it in that much. And the same um, for the other side too. <laughs> My fingers, my fingers are, yeah, they're actually uh, cut. All because I've been scraping it on this lip inside here, which is quite sharp. So yeah, if you get one of these uh, Fiat Scudo slash Citroen Dispatch slash, God, what is it called again? The E7 Euro Taxi or the Peugeot Partner, is it? No, Expert, Expert, Peugeot Expert. If you get one of these, Mark 1. That's a pain in the ass, right there. But it's necessary. It makes a massive difference. It makes a massive difference. Yeah, but oh, I'm gonna take some photos of that so I can um, get some ideas, get some designs on the way. I, I do actually need to, to see how far out my, um, my cupboards can come. I mean, my cupboards can come out quite a fair way in this van. Um, my seat runners are here, and the seats come to about here. I can have this much as a walk, walk space, it doesn't need to be very wide. The cupboards could come out to about here. Yeah, I could have a, like, oh, it's going to be amazing this is, it's going to be really good. Mm. This is going to be awesome. Alright then. For now, i got to go. Catch you later guys and girls, thanks for watching.